A new The Suicide Squad movie image unites all the Task Force X characters from James Gunn's upcoming DC movie. A quasi-sequel to David Ayer's 2016 Suicide Squad, Gunn's film brings back a handful of characters previously introduced to the DC Extended Universe to feature alongside a host of new villains and anti-heroes. Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn is back after starring in her own movie earlier this year, Kathy Yan's Birds of Prey, and a fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. She's joined by fellow returning stars Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang and Joel Kinnaman as Rick Flagg, Viola Davis is also back as Amanda Waller, the squad's handler. In addition to those actors, the Suicide Squad movie cast is filled out with plenty of newcomers to the DCEU, including John Cena as Peacemaker, Peter Capaldi as The Thinker, Idris Elba as Bloodsport, Pete Davidson as Blackguard, David Dismalchian as Polka Dot Man, Michael Rooker as Savant, Nathan Fillion as TDK, Daniela Melchior as Ratcatcher 2, Steve Agee as King Shark, Flula Borg as Javelin, Mailing Ang as Mongol, and Sean Gunn as Weasel. It's a massive cast for the DC sequel, and as James Gunn teased when he first unveiled the full cast, viewers shouldn't expect everyone to make it out of the movie live. Now, a new image of the cast has been revealed. Today, Empire unveiled two new The Suicide Squad magazine covers featuring the full 15-character roster of Task Force X, though Davis's Waller is not included which makes sense, since she's not technically on the team. The subscriber cover also includes Gunn in the mix. Check out both covers below. Aside from adding Gunn, the Empire subscriber cover for The Suicide Squad also features the cast looking much less serious, with the likes of Robbie, Capaldi, Kinnaman, Elba, Cena, Melchior, and others smiling. Even AG's King Shark is waving for the camera in the subscriber cover. All of this speaks to the camaraderie between the cast and director on set. But as for the characters in Task Force X, it's certain that all 15 of these characters won't get along well, especially at the start. One of the through lines in Ayer's Suicide Squad movie was the tentative bond formed by Task Force X, and with so many new characters in Gunn's movie, there will surely be more of that in the sequel. As for what else these covers reveal, the background of these images is no doubt a reference to one of the squad's battles in the movie. Although the Suicide Squad story isn't known in detail, it's been compared to a war movie. After the DC fandom preview, it's been speculated that Starro will be the main villain, though that remains unconfirmed. As evidenced by these covers, it seems the Suicide Squad marketing is pushing the massive main cast, rather than the story or the villain to generate interest. That said, more information about the story and villain may be revealed whenever the Suicide Squad trailer is released. Considering the film isn't set to hit theaters until August 2021, it may be some time before a teaser is released, but the Suicide Squad covers at least offer another look at the cast and the costumes.